Yo, what's up, YouTube? Uh, I know it's been a minute, but this is M Diddy AJ Twenty Three Fan One coming at you. Um, I was kind of inspired to write or to do this video uh, for a number of reasons. Um, first of all, I reached a, kind of a milestone for a collection. Uh, my LeBron James authentic jersey collection is at fifty now, so I figured, what better way? To mark that milestone than making a collection video for it so I'm gonna have them all included here um, I also want to shout out uh, King Leonidas the lion I know he's been saying he's gonna make one um, so I'm definitely looking forward to checking his out um, and this was in no way uh, like trying to you know one-up him or anything I know he's he's been posting great content on YouTube and is a you know big asset for the jersey collecting community so just wanted to give him a shout out and let him know that you know i've been enjoying his videos that he's been making and um also i want to dedicate this video to someone that's in our facebook jersey group communities on kings of throwbacks and jersey exchange and his name is ron jackson and I've known Ron for a long time. A lot of people in the community have known Ron for a long time. And um, he got some really tough medical news um, in the last week. And, you know, just want to let him know that, you know, he's inspired and helped a lot of people in the community. And um, we're all there for him and rallying around him, you know, to support him and whatever he needs um, as he, you know, goes on to this next challenge. And he's a, he's a tough guy, man. So... Um, you know, prayers up to him, and I think that, you know, with his mindset and his determination that he can beat, you know, whatever health issues are in front of him. So, Ron, this is dedicated to you um, and everything that you've done for our communities, um, you know, over the years. So, uh, definitely a great asset for our community as well. So, of course, uh, it's been a little bit for me. Um, I've definitely been working on things behind the scenes and trying to get things in order. I'm going to try to be a little bit more regular about these um, in the coming weeks and months. So some good stuff should be coming to the channel um, that I'll be showing. This is going to be a pretty long video just because of the volume of everything. Um, so, you know, chop it up, watch it in pieces if you can, um, or make some popcorn, uh, order a pizza, and watch it that way <laughs> whatever you guys want to do but definitely appreciate everybody checking it out make sure you subscribe and like the video um and uh you know turn the alerts on if you want to see when i'm posting new stuff down the line um i'm not saying it's going to be weekly but whenever i get new things and i think you know people might want to see i'll definitely put them on so without further ado uh let's dig into the lebron collection it's kind of chronological um so it starts with his playing career, um, and then once I finish through the Lakers, then it goes into international competition, and then finally his All-Star Game jerseys. So let's get into it. First up, we got a St. Vincent St. Mary High School jersey. This is the gold jersey. It is from... On Sports, which was the actual supplier for these when LeBron was in high school. As you can see, it's got the 9-11-2001 Memorial patch on there. This jersey is made out of Dazzle and a Pro Bright mesh. So it's got that kind of shiny finish to it. Um, trim details along the side panels. Everything on this jersey is screen printed. No name on the back, and that's the way LeBron wore it when he was actually in high school. You can take a look at that, the Irish word mark. And a uh, big shout-out to Big Slim, Slim Pickens, a uh, big guy in our Jersey community. He helped me out with these, and then before him, these were Albert LeBron. So two, you know, big uh, throwback king. Uh, two big pillars in our community helped me get these, and they're part of my collection now, and I really appreciate it. Next up is the jersey that they wore in the national championship game. This is an Adidas jersey, also made by On Sports. 
So it's got Adidas branding, but on sports, you know, actually customized and made it. Um, similar details, you got the dazzle side panels. Uh, this is also a pro bright mesh. The difference on this is it is twill, two layer stacked twill. St. Vincent, St. Mary, Irish. You can see the Adidas branding. I didn't show this on the last one, but it's got the little fighting Irish guy there on the dazzle insert on the neckline. And you got the 911 patch there. Flip it over. Look at the back. 23 James. Adidas branding there. Screen printed on. So another rare jersey. His high school championship game jersey where they did actually wear their names on the back. So another rare one that I'm glad to have in the collection there. So as we all know, after he dominated the high school scene, LeBron was drafted first overall in the 2003 draft by the Cleveland Cavaliers, his hometown team. This is the Reebok Authentic from his rookie season. I purchased this directly from the Reebok headquarters employee store back when I worked there dazzle side panels with the trim warp knit trim on the side two layer twill word mark and numbers with the Cavaliers C logo NBA embroidered on you get the C patch on the back neckline and the two layer twill gold and wine name and the gold and navy numbers so that's the lebron home rookie authentic from reebok tag's still on it next up we got the home you know i gotta have the road the road version also same purchase size 48 gold dazzle down the side James number 23 on the back everything two layer sewn white on gold twill C patch on the back navy and gold trim around the neck and the arms just a flat mesh on this one. It's rookie year. LeBron James Road Authentic from Reebok. Next up, this is a favorite of a lot of people I know. This is the alternate Cavaliers jersey. And this is made out of a navy Nike, or I mean, um, Reebok called it Play Dry at the time. Size 48. Got a dazzle side panel. An insert trim on the side, which is pretty cool. Two layer twill, white on gold. The big Cleveland word mark. The C again. James 23. That's the alternate. And we've got a Hardwood Classics Retro Knights jersey. This is the gold, which was worn by the Cavaliers in the 75-76 season. You can see the tagging is a little different on this one. It's got the regular 48, but then you can see Hardwood Classics vintage there on that tag and then you got the year tag that says 75 76 very colorful jersey this is made out of play dry again you got the two layer team name stitched as well as the numbers and you'll notice this nba logo is a little different than your standard it has kind of a beige middle color and a darker navy and a maroon instead of red it's kind of its vintage look for the hardwood classics jerseys from that era you got the alternating colors 
on the neck and the arm holes. And then of course the same alternating colors down the sides. And then you got James number 23, no back patch or anything like that. And the Cavs did wear these in game. So this is one of the few uh, retro night Cavs jerseys that I have. Um, they, did, they made an authentic for one other year um, and I didn't get it unfortunately. So um, that's one hole that I need to fill in my collection. I'm also going to be trying to get the, um, they wore an orange throwback jersey with the old Cavs logo with the net in the V and the basketball. Um, and then they also wore that in royal blue when LeBron was there. So those are two jerseys that I want to try to get. The royal blue one actually had the 40th anniversary patch on it. So I would like to get those. I definitely don't have all the LeBron jer jerseys, but I, I've got a lot of them. So as we all know, uh, after he left Cleveland, he ended up going to Miami. And we jump into the Rev 30 Adidas Authentics here. This is the white home jersey. It's got the crest is red twill with a satin stitch border that's black. And then you can see you've got the mesh number, which is actually white twill with a black satin stitch border and then red mesh. Of course, that was meant to keep the weight down on these jerseys and make them more functionally playable for the players. So these jerseys get knocked a lot because they're a lot longer and a lot lighter than their Reebok and Nike counterparts. You can see this is a game, actually a game issued. It's got that extra tag, the 2XL, the extra length. Um, and then on the back, same kind of setup. You can see the mesh number there, single layer LeBron James, James on the back. So, the Adidas Rev 30 home Miami Heat jersey. Then we've got the Black Road. A lot of these details are going to be the same. Um, this doesn't have the extra tag on it. It does have the year and the extra length. It just doesn't have the additional... Game issued tagging. You can see the mesh numbers there. In the back, same. It's kind of hard to see with the white, but it's there. Single name on the back LeBron James Road. Heat jersey. And we got the alternate red. Unfortunately, I saw him beat the crap out of my Celtics wearing this jersey in uh, some crucial playoff games. Rev 30 numbers. White James on the back. Same setup, this is the Miami crest. And then you see the tagging down here. 2010, 2011, 2XL, Cool Rev 30, Adidas jersey, LeBron number six. These are getting into some of the more rare LeBron jerseys that I have in my collection. I've got some rare All-Stars too, but these are up there um, in terms of being some of the more rare jerseys that I've got. Um, this is a Hardwood Classics Retro Knights Adidas Rev 30 Pro Cut. This is a size 3X. You can see it's got the Hardwood Classics Knights and the tagging there. Climb a cool. This was worn, um, it does have the 25th anniversary patch as well. 
This was the year that they won their second title, I believe, and they beat the Spurs in the finals. So this was the season that they wore um, that I believe it could have been their first championship. I can't remember, to be honest. But it was the year that they had the really long winning streak in the second half of the season. And they did end up winning the title at 25th anniversary patch for the Heat. It's all, you can see the Rev 30 numbers there. The Heat logo done the same way. And it does have that, that same color setup on the NBA logo that I showed earlier. LeBron number six, Rev 30 on the back. Really, really rare jersey and uh, one I'm very happy to have. Then the following year, they wore a throwback again. And this time it was the Road. Yep. Same tagging as the last one. This is a 2X, though. And it's got the mesh heat on the front. Road jersey. Does have the side trim down one side, as it's supposed to. Two color James on the back. And the Rev 30 number 6 also a rare one um another jersey that i don't have is the miami floridians aba jersey the white jersey that they wore um his first season in miami um i think it was his first i always get those years confused but there was one year that he wore it and um i didn't get that one. I had a couple of chances to grab it, and I, I think those chances have gone now, but it's a really hard jersey to find. This jersey, I've only seen one other person with this, other than game photos. This was a jersey that I customized myself. Um, it was a blank white heat authentic. This is from the ring ceremony night after their second championship in Miami. It's a 3XL authentic home heat jersey. So we took the heat off of it, added the color scheme that's accurate to what they wore on the ring ceremony night. We've got kiss cut lettering and numbering on this, the number six as well. And we added the Trophy, the Larry O'Brien finals patch, which was on the jersey that night. I believe they played the Celtics, either the Celtics or the Bulls when they wore this. And then the back, single color James, the back six, kiss cut, sewn on, in twill. Um, they did not wear mesh on these jerseys because I think they customized them, but this is a very, very rare LeBron jersey. Like I said, I think I've only seen one other person with this, so super rare. I'm very happy to have this one in the collection. I just got it done a couple of weeks ago. And this jersey isn't done yet, but I'm hoping to get it done soon. It's the Code Red Heat jersey. It's a blank right now, but it'll definitely be getting the LeBron 6 treatment. Candy Cane, Code Red jersey, whatever you want to call it. So I've got this ready to go. It's authentic Rev 30 blank. Next up, we've got the Cavaliers, a return to Cleveland. These are Adidas Authentic Climacools. See there, 2XL. You got the all for one, one for all down there. Cavs obviously redid their style. This was ordered directly from the Cavaliers team shop. They did not sell authentics with the mesh, which is kind of a bummer. So at some point, I'd like to get these numbers swapped out. But you can see they've got the mock or faux mesh looking numbers. It is twill sewn on with the satin stitch embroidery. 
and then it's got this kind of like plasticky twill that has the look of mesh numbers, which I absolutely hate, but you know, it is what it is. It's authentic home, LeBron, Climacool, not Rev30, I guess, because it doesn't have the mesh numbers, but we'll get there one day. And the same thing on the back, single color twill name on the back. So that's the home jersey. I really like the five stripe neck and armhole trim on those style jerseys. And I got the set from the store. So pretty much all of these are set up the same way. This is the road. As you can see, got Cleveland on the front, same tagging. I really like the way that they did this alternate color stitching on the side. It's a little detail that I thought was always pretty neat. Cleveland 23, James on the back. You got the NBA logo on the back neck. And that's the road. Then we've got the alternate gold calves on the front. Same trim. James 23 on the back, NBA logo, all ordered from the Cavs team store, 2XL, there you go, gold alternate, LeBron, number 23. Now we've got a few kind of like alternate special jerseys. This one is the sleeve jersey that you'll remember from the finals where they beat the Warriors with the big C on the front and the number 23 on the front. This is actually done in two color twill, which is accurate to what the gamers were. Um, the big C sleeve jersey, you got the gussets on the side, which is kind of cool. The back, James, single color. And then the numbers are that same mock Rev 30, these were mesh on the originals. So this is another one that would be kind of nice to switch up down the line. But, and then the tagging on this, you got same type of thing, 2X, and then it does have the all for one, one for all, upside down on the bottom. Pretty iconic jersey considering what they did in that to win the championship. This one is another kind of like mashup hybrid alternate that they wore. It's got that old Cavs logo that I mentioned earlier, but the new number format. I think they wore this as second to last year and a second stint in Cleveland. It's got the five color trim again, and then two color, three color actually, the burgundy twill with the yellow satin stitch and then that faux mock Rev 30 material on the back, NBA logo on the back, and kind of a neat retro mashup jersey that they did as an alternate. And they wore this jersey a lot in the finals and also, you know, during the regular season as an alternate and one of my favorite styles. So I paid a little bit more for this one to get the mesh numbers because it's one of my favorite styles and that's the navy version and this does have complete rev 30 mesh all across the board it's got it on the calves it's got it on the front numbers and it's got it on the back numbers single color james on the back this jersey is one of my favorites uh it's a great Great jersey. I don't regret paying what I paid for it. And it does have the gold tab on the back after they won the championship and the NBA logo. And then the uh, tagging on the bottom. This is actually an XL. So just got what I could with this one <laughs> because it's such a nice jersey. I wanted to have it. So it's a good one now. The last year LeBron was in Cleveland, of course, Nike took over 
So these are the Nike style Authentics. This is the first year of Nike. It's got the Wingfoot logo on the front, as you can see. All still tags. It's got the perforated mesh on the front. Kiss cut. Very lightweight. And the word mark has some kind of like vinyl work to give it that beveled look. And also a kiss cut. And the swoosh is printed on, like he pressed on. The Wingfoot logo, sublimated Twill logo, and it's sewn on. LeBron James Road, Cleveland on the back. Similar details. You can see it's got the one championship tag and heat pressed NBA logo, single color Twill, perforated kiss cut back numbers. Cool little like side panel accent there. Typical Nike look. But yeah, that's his road jersey. Now the home jersey I don't have, which is annoying, very annoying. But they didn't make an authentic version. Like they didn't make it to sell at the team shop. They didn't make it to sell on NBA.com, on Nike.com, on NBAEurope.com, on Antarctica.com, NBA, like, you know, Mars, NBA, nowhere. So I don't know what the deal with that is. I'm probably going to have to end up getting, like, a gamer of, like, a scrub and stripping it and putting LeBron's 23 and James on it. I hate to do that to, like, a game issued or a game-worn jersey, but Nike's not working with me, so what am I supposed to do? I got to get the set. So this one was available in an authentic. It was an alternate that was based on Akron and um, its making of automobile tires. So it's got that tire tread on the front that you can pick up there that's kind of sublimated on with that pattern. Um, it's got the big C right there. Pretty cool. And then the perforated 23 kiss cut. I like this jersey. Um, kind of black, you know, they kind of OD'd on black jerseys a little bit, but it's pretty cool, unique for LeBron's last, it was a one-year style, I guess, all for one and one for all, at least for LeBron, not, not for the Cavs, but, but it's a cool one, I'm glad I have it in the collection, and this one was the first city edition that Nike did for Cleveland. A gray alternate, the land. You got the uh, Wingfoot logo there. And then perforated twill on the 23. And then kiss cut the land gray. You got the Wingfoot sublimated twill logo. Um, accent here on the collar, which is kind of nice. And then you've got these side panels here that I think are a tribute to a monument in Cleveland, if I read that right and remember it correctly. Then the name is Kiss Cut, three color on the back. And then the name is single color. So pretty cool alternate. Uh, I waited a long time to get this one, but I got it a few months ago. Now we move into the Lakers stent, and I have the... City Edition jersey from his first year in L.A. This is going to get stripped and turned into a LeBron. Um, but I got this at a good price, so I picked it up. It's the purple pinstripe. This is Lonzo Ball. Um, as I said, it's going to be stripped and turned into a LeBron. So this is actually a really nice jersey. This is all kiss cut on the front, and the Los Angeles is like, individually sewn on each letter which is pretty awesome you don't typically see that sort of detail in these and you got the roman numerals making up the pinstripes there on the back you've got the 16 championships logo the vinyl heat pressed nba logo ball number two we're going to change that though perforated numbers two color Pretty, 
pretty cool style. It'll, I'll be really happy to get this done up into LeBron eventually. Um, all right, and they, these next jerseys, um, I'm going to be adding. Uh, there's one with the sponsor patch. I'm going to add one to the wish, the wish patch to the pinstripe as well. But all these that I'm going to show you now, I'm getting uh, Kobe patches for. Rest in peace, Kobe. And I'm also going to be getting the Stern Memorial Band for David Stern. Rest in peace, David Stern. Um, so I'm going to be getting those to add to all of these jerseys. So I'm pretty hyped for that as well. Um, and all the sponsor patches um, because I think only one of them has a sponsor patch now. This is the home LeBron Lakers Nike Authentic. It is, there you go with the tag, authentic, kiss cut, two layer perforated, numbers, Lakers crest, kiss cut, sewn on, um, and of course the Nike swoosh, because it's one of the newer ones, it is sewn on. You've got this here, the home classic. Not classic, but the current Lakers home jersey. Pretty basic. I like the three-color trim on it. Um, I know some people like the Showtime era a lot better, or even the Nike Wishbone Authentics. But I think these are nice. So there's the home. I'm going to be adding the Kobe patch and the memorial band to that. And this is the road jersey, the current road The, I think they call it the statement jersey. I always get the association and the icon series mixed up. But I think this is technically the statement. Kiss cut. Perforated twill on the back. James. Heat press logo. Championship patch. All the same details. This one actually has a heat press swoosh, which is weird. I just bought this recently but side panels kind of an interesting look with the black but the road version there I think this is the association technically the white white jersey as you can see this one does have the wish patch it's twill sublimated just like all the sponsor patches are on the gamers. And perforated purple, kiss cut, the yellow twill, Lakers logo on the front. This swoosh is sewn on. And then the back, James, single color, 23. Same jock tags as before. That's the association jersey, I believe. And finally, for the Lakers for this year, I've got the City Edition jersey. Here, I like this one. It kind of has the same vibe as the 70s. Lakers, you get the perforated twill. Lakers with the drop shadow. Kind of a wishbone vibe on the collar. Sewn on swoosh. And then you've got the side panels with prominent Lakers of the past numbers on there. And Shaq like, helped design this lore series jersey. I think Magic did the pinstripe one. go lore series shack there mde right there most dominant ever down the sides which is kind of cool there you go lakers city edition now we're going to take it into international competition 2004 athens the usa team came home with the bronze super disappointing but it was lebron's olympic debut we have the white USA Reebok Authentic here. 
Very heavy jersey made out of play dry. You got two layers of twill. USA Basketball patch, classic. You got a Dazzle play dry trim, which is pretty cool. Um, this is Dazzle on Dazzle with the star insert. And then down the side panels, you have play dry. And then these little red pieces are made out of Dazzle, which is pretty nice. Front there, it's a 52 Reebok Authentic. And James on the back, you got this USA Basketball star patch. James single color, number nine. USA 2004 home. We got the road here. Navy, all the same details. USA Basketball. Reebok logo, USA number nine, size 52, James number nine on the back, and the star patch. I don't have the red version of this, uh, which is kind of a bummer. One of those holes in my collection, but maybe one day I'll see it. They used to be all over the place on eBay, and I just never grabbed one. And this is the Redeem Team, Beijing, 2008, authentic. Also have a shooting shirt and like a warm-up for this. This is a really heavy jersey, um, a lot of details. Got the flag patch, triple layer twill, red on silver on white. Kind of hard to see there, but... And the... Swoosh is embroidered on, tight embroidery. Fabric is like really, really heavy on this and it's doubled up on that. It's got a 54 USA Basketball, United We Rise, authentic on the end. And then it says the games of the 29th Olympiad embroidered on the top there, cool detail. The back has a sublimated back panel it has a torch in here for the Olympics. Um, let me see what else is in here. Yeah, there's the torch at the bottom. I don't know if that'll pick up because of the lighting. Yeah, you can see it there. There you go. Torch. All sorts of cool references on the back of this. Um, stars. Pretty neat. They were doing this a lot with jerseys in the mid-2000s college teams were using it a lot. You got two-color jeans on the back. Two-color number six. Of course, he switched to six after 04 for his Olympic number. And D. Wade took number nine. And I got the road as well. They did not wear an alternate for the Redeem team. So same details on this one. Two color twill, three color twill, stacked, flag, embroidered swoosh. This is a dazzle material on the uh, insert on the front and back. Same details on the tagging. You'll be able to see the embroidery a little better there on the games of the 29th Olympiad. United We Rise. Flip it over, same details. Still got that sublimated design on the back. It's a little bit harder to see. There you go. LeBron James, 2008 Olympic jerseys. Then we go to London in 2012. Of course, they won the gold medal again. These jerseys are much lighter. They were made out of recycled bottles, apparently. Um, this is heat pressed on the flag. This is two color, but it's one color twill with just a satin stitch. The swoosh is heat pressed on. United We Rise on the back collar. That's also heat pressed. Um, this is zigzag. This is a 
Satin stitched on, not zigzag stitched for the single color six. 2X. And that's it for tagging on it. You can see this, the neck, I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up, but it has this kind of like ribbed um, section up here on the back. I don't know if that was like for comfort or sweat or what, but. Um, and then the back has stars and stripes sublimated on it. James single color six. But that's his 2012 home Olympic jersey. And this is his road. London Games 2012 Olympic jersey. Single color six. All the same details. United We Rise on the back. James, Stars and Stripes sublimated all the way down. Now we get into the All-Star jerseys. So, <clears throat> as you know, or as some of you may know, LeBron didn't make the All-Star team his rookie year. It was in Los Angeles in 2003-2004. Uh, the following season for 04-05, he did make the All-Star team and it was in Denver. So here's his first All-Star Game jersey. Authentic. It's got play dry on the front, mesh on the back. You can see it's got the Denver All-Star Game logo there. Size 52. All-Star Game, Denver 2005. Designed by Reebok for the NBA athlete. That's what it says there. He was on the Eastern team, obviously, as a member of the Cavs. So it says East on the front. It is four-layer twill on there. White on royal blue, on silver, on red. And the All-Star here is stitched and embroidered on. This white twill on the top, on both the numbers and the crest, has like a star graphic kind of printed on it. Um... Hopefully I'll be able to pick it up at some point, but it's a cool little detail. The patch is all embroidered and sewn on, which is nice. Um, regular trim. Then the back, you've got the Cavs logo, single color name, and 23. Four color. Get that going on. Side panels, you got stripes um, down the side. Play dry, flanked by Dazzle. It's got a silver border and then red. And then the stars are individually sewn on, which is pretty awesome. So there's a lot of details on this jersey. Um, one of my favorites from his all-star career. And it is a Reebok authentic. As are most of these are period-specific authentics. Uh, no Mitchell and Nesses in here, so... This is a warm-up jacket from his second All-Star game in Houston. They wanted it to look like a flight jacket for the astronauts. So they made this. Um, it's got James and then the Cavs logo here. East embroidered on the front. RBK and then the NBA logo. It has the country of origin for the player. And then they put a patch on for every year they were in the All-Star game. So LeBron had only been to one. So he's just got one. Kobe's and Shaq's had a little bit more. They did have the current year All-Star game on the other side for Houston, 2005-2006. So this is kind of a neat little uh, piece that I got. And they made 40 of these. This is 35 out of 40. Official product of the 2006 NBA All-Star game is what that tagging says. 35 out of 40. Pretty cool piece that goes along with this jersey from the Houston game, which he did win MVP. Here it is. All-star from the Houston game. You can see similar tagging to the Denver game there with the all-star logo. So 48. Dazzle on the bottom with, like, screen-printed vinyl. These stars are all twill individually sewn on. Twill East, two layer twill 23, and the All-Star Game patch embroidered there. 
the back, you've got Cavs logo, 23, and LeBron James under the 23. You got James there, single color. That's the Houston game. Dude's been in so many All-Star games, he starts revisiting cities. Then you've got the Vegas All-Star game jersey here. I do have the jacket for this one as well, but it's uh, somewhere else. You can see Dazzle, Silver on the top, and then Play Dry for the base of the jersey. 2007 All-Star game, 48. It did incorporate the three stripes down the side for Adidas. Adidas took over. Then the Dazzle Wishbone here. The East logo, three color twill, pretty cool. Gives it that old school Vegas vibe. Same with the, the numbers there. Cavs logo, 23, James under the number. Kind of standard for what they did there for a few years with the All-Star Game jerseys. Making our way through here, now we go to New Orleans. He won the MVP in this game as well. Uh, here we go. Lots of New Orleans elements here. Jock tag, as you can see, 48. They've got a um, French Quarter vibe down the side here with the print that's on the play dry side panel. You got the three stripes again. The back is mesh. I mean, it's a dazzle, silver dazzle. And then they've got these beveled numbers here, which is a three color twill. These stars are patches that are individually sewn and then sewn on, which is a cool detail. You got the Cavs logo. And then the one thing that really ticked me off, I got this from the NBAstore.com, and when they produce these, they, Jerry is like, I don't know what he's doing. He's like laying down. So at some point, I got to take this patch off and get it properly position so I was <laughs> not super happy about that but everything else on the jersey is really nice this crest is like kind of insane it's got like embroidered pieces and multiple layers of twill and a pretty unique rare jersey here next up uh, we go to Phoenix Kobe and Shaq won MVP this year but LeBron was definitely there so, patch here with kind of a gradient fade design, which is pretty cool. I think Mitchell and Ness just did this one recently. I know they did Kobe, I want to say. They may have done LeBron in this as well. Three color. Um, this is made out of, like, play dry material or clima, clima cool mesh material with the three stripes down the side. This design here is, like, kind of pressed on, like printed and pressed, it's thick. Um, I want to say Mitchell and Ness didn't make this with the right fabric. They used uh, the Rev 30 fabric on it a few years early, so it's kind of a boo-boo. Cavs patch, three-layer twill, single-color name, Phoenix All-Star game jersey. Then we go to... Dallas and LeBron's future teammate, D. Wade, won MVP. LeBron was there in Dallas with the Cavaliers. You got a, another unique star logo there. This is moving towards the Rev 30, as you can see, this first year. This jersey was like a limited edition, um, and it did come with mesh numbers for the first time. East on the front, big 23 on the back with the sublimated design. I was really, really happy with this jersey when it released. There's a lot of really cool details on it. It's got the star sublimated on the front. Uh, I was really, really happy with this one when it came out. The quality on it was really fantastic. The new jock tags for Adidas, and then you see the Dallas All-Star Game logo there. Yeah, this is this is another really nice one, one of my favorites for his All-Star jerseys here. Really nice. The quality on it's amazing. 
Um, then we've got, after they knock it out of the park with that one, they lay this on us, which was really one of the more disappointing ones that I think they've released. This is from Los Angeles. And it wasn't so much the design that bothered me, although it is kind of unimaginative. Um, you can see they stuck with a lot of the same details. It says the year on the insert. This was kind of cool with the metallic looking star. Um, the East, you know, kind of like on a marquee because it was in Hollywood. You've got these dots over here um, for, you know, flashing lights and the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, I guess. Um, you've got the patch there. Um, but NBA Store didn't have a lot of these, and they had the mock mesh on there with the thick satin stitch, which I didn't love. Um, and then the back, they decided to add a star for every All-Star Game appearance. And the team logo. This team logo is one of the cheapest things. It's literally like plastic, and it's sewn on with just like metallic thread. It just looks really cheap compared to the uh, Dallas game. And then you got James on the back. They did go with the sublimated, you know, star design kind of on the back again, which is cool, but I don't know. It's not one of my favorites. Maybe I would have liked it more if I had, like, one with mesh numbers and everything, but next one is in Orlando. Him and Kobe actually kind of dueled in this game, and I, I like this jersey a lot too. It fades. It's a gradient fade on this. It doesn't have anything that denotes the Orlando game, which is kind of annoying. Um, the Adidas is heat pressed in silver, kind of similar over here. This is like a twill patch with metallic silver over top, which is nice. The gradient fade on the trim is pretty cool too. It's like sublimated. It's a Rev 30 material. Um, it does have three stripes down the side, kind of gradient fading again. I really like the overall look of this jersey from the Orlando game. These stars are printed. Um, and the, the twill that they used for this was also printed. You can see it has almost like a, a hardwood um, basketball court texture to it. It's kiss cut, which is really cool. Um, and then the all-star is printed on and kind of like perforated. And then the back... Similar details, James under the six, and then just the Miami Heat logo. This is a lot better quality. You can see it's like a patch that's been like heat pressed on, which is a lot nicer than the LA game. So that's a pretty, pretty cool one. I like that one a lot. Uh, next one, I think we went back to Los Angeles is that right or no Houston this is a Houston jersey and again not not one of my favorites it's kind of one that is unimaginative again um 2013 they stuck with the year on the neckline all-star game patch it is sublimated with a design on the front which adds a little something the east is mesh rev 30 the number is faux Rev 30. It's got the stars here. These are just kind of sublimated in or inserted in. Three stripes on the back, James, and the heat logo there um, with the sublimated back. Kind of unimaginative, boring in my opinion, but that's what they did. Uh, next year, they decided to incorporate the sleeve jerseys lebron's teammate kyrie won mvp you got the big floor de lee in the front this is all kind of like vinyl with metallic silver trim it's very shiny this the numbers were actually on the sleeves with the same kind of mock-up they're single color but everything's like printed on and sewn um, the back star is kind of cool. It's got that French Quarter vibe on the sides, and he pressed on James sewn in single layer twill. This is like a, a film 
and you can see it's got holes in it to keep it breathable. Very lightweight, performance-driven jersey. Um, and then the thing about Game Issues is they have this film. Um, it's almost like a, it's not a patch. It's like, it's like a very shiny metallic film that's like pressed on. Really, really shiny. So this denotes that it's like Game Issued level of authenticity. 3XL, three stripes down the side. That's the New Orleans game. It does have this little insert two which is pretty cool nola 2014 pretty cool then we head to new york city in brooklyn he's back with the Cavs. we've got this classic kind of uh old new york basketball park style jersey the star denotes the five boroughs of new york New York City 15 right there. Classic red, white, and blue color scheme. We've got two colors of 12 with a separating satin stitch white embroidery path there. And then you've got the stars down the side as well, denoting the different boroughs. And got this here. NBA All-Star East. And then on the back... You've got, oh, my light went out. You got the Cavaliers, LeBron on the back, three color. There you go. That's the New York City All-Star Game. I'm almost done, guys. I'm just going to open up a window, see if I can finish this up real quick with the light that we have. Next up is Toronto. This is the game north of the border. And we got the Kia patch for the first time. And East 23. And there we go. See if we can rock this out um, and get this done. Whatever juice I have left here. There we go. All right. So this one's kind of tough to see because of all the white, but royal blue, white color scheme. Um, you got the Toronto jock tag down here for 2016. Single color. East on the front, 23. LeBron James, you got the skyline of Toronto back there that you can see. And we got the Maple Leaf patch and the TO16 patch. And then on the flip side, you got the Raptors All-Star Game logo, which is cool. Trying to buzz through these here. All right, next, New Orleans All-Star Game, Kia cool like 3m material on the numbers um show you the jock tag no city specific east on the back this was the year it was supposed to be in charlotte but they had to move it at the last second so this is the authentic for that year 2017 2018 they were in la Again, they got the big C on the front, black and white color scheme, Jordan, Team Jordan, did the jerseys, the Kia. These are very, very plain, not much to write home about. James, black and white, LA. Let's see if you can see it. It says LA 18 on the back. There you go. So we're buzzing through these here. Sorry, guys. Uh, next one is Charlotte, 2019. Red, white, and blue to kind of pay tribute to the last time the All-Star game was there. The stars down the side are sewn on, and they have a honeycomb pattern in them. Lakers logo. Team LeBron went to South or to uh, the West Coast. You got perforated 23 on the back, James. And then you got a honeycomb-filled star in Charlotte, 19 on the back 
quick run through of the Charlotte jersey. Pretty cool. You can see the details there on the jock tag. And last but not least from this year in Chicago, this is a Kawhi Leonard MVP jersey. Um, the colors representing the different lines in Chicago Mass Transit. You've got the Kia patch, Jordan brand patch, all-star two-color twill, kiss cut, big twill applique star with the Jerry logo. You've got sublimated pinstripes with stars down the side. And Chicago 2020, 56, more representation of mass transit. The back, shy 20 in the patch. Number two, which is LeBron's number that he wore. It does say Leonard. I'm going to get that taken off, put James on. I'm going to add David Stern Memorial Band here. I'm going to add the helicopter crash memorial for the nine victims here. And last but not least, I'm going to add the initials for the people in the crash down here, just as the gamers had. So that's a project, but I'll share that when it's done. That's it. All 50. Done. I um, appreciate you guys hanging in there. I told you it was going to be a long one. My light died. The light outside is dying. So that's it for me. Um, I appreciate you guys checking it out once again. Shout out to all the Jersey heads out there, Mighty Fan, Big Slim, um, King Leonidas the Lion, who's doing things out there. We got Resurrection out there on the West Coast. What's up, man? Um, we've got other collectors in the community. Um, I don't have time to shout everybody out, but I certainly want to give a shout out to Ron Jackson. Um, our thoughts are with him and anything he needs. Um, please let us know. And uh, he's a great one, um, you know, big contributor to the groups, definitely shares our passion. Um, so big shout out to everybody. It's good to be back. Enjoy the video, comment, subscribe, turn on alerts, and we will see you next time.